update. Okay, folks, this is Larry Pesavento for the mid-morning update. Well, we've got sort of a bifurcated market again, as we usually have, as Mr. Basil Chapman has mentioned many times. We've got the Dow Jones up. The Russell's gotten hit pretty hard, down about one and a quarter percent. S&P down a bit, and the NASDAQ down a bit more than that. We've got silver and gold uh, about unchanged pretty much, uh, slightly lower, but not much. And we got bonds moving still a little bit higher. That bottom we had down there at 117 seems to be the fulcrum point of the latest rally. Uh, looks like we're going to get above the 78% level up here at around 127. That'll be 10 handles higher, folks. We thought that was going to be a pretty good move to the upside, and it was. But guess what? I didn't get a ticket for the bus. I didn't have any quarters that day. I was trying to buy it lower, and they said, no, 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 cannot happen. So anyway, just remember, folks, it's not how much money you make. It's how much money you don't lose. That's the key to all this. you got to be able to play the game with chips, and if you bid all your chips in one uh, hand, you're going to be in big trouble. My good friend and mentor, Dave Wilson, Dave Nelson, <laughs> used to tell me, he said, don't ever go for broke. He said, you just might succeed. So that's the reason for that. You've got to spread your wealth across several trades, find the best probability, and then you'll move from there. And that's the best thing we're going to be looking at. Now, I will not be on the show uh, Thursday and Friday. I'll be back Monday, and uh, we will have Peter Lydes next week as opposed to uh, this coming Friday. Peter is busy, and I'm going to be busy too. So we'll, uh, we'll have him on uh, next week along with uh, Stan Harley and also Tim Bost. And uh, hopefully we're going to have Adrian Togare on again if she can fit us into her schedule. So those are the ones we're looking at for next week. So let's see how the week ends up here. Looks like we're going to be, yeah, it looks like we're going to be up a slightly or down slightly for the week. So it doesn't mean too much. But we've got two days to go plus another two hours today. So it could be three hours today. So it could be interesting, you know, what happens here. So let's pay a few bills, live every day in an attitude of gratitude. And may God bless, and we'll see you in a few minutes for Trade What You See. <laughs> 